Hey hustlers, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jasmine, aka Jazz Hustles, and I am a 20 year old Amazon seller. I started selling in the beginning of last year and I'm still going at it. As you guys can tell by this title, I am at the Walmart's clearance section right now. And I'm gonna see if I can find a good amount of products in 10 minutes. If you haven't already, make sure to like it up, subscribe for more. And without further ado, let's get to this video. So as you can tell, we are going to be using our seller app, app like always. So we're going to be scanning using the product finder. So I scanned this right here. This product is $2 on clearance. We're just waiting for our seller app to pop up. Okay. So we see it's 41 K BSR top 1%. You guys want to make sure to always be in the top 1% or 2%. You want to make sure that you're in a good percent, a top percent. It really just depends on the actual category. Um, we see here it's a dollar 49 profit and there is 74% ROI. The max cost is the price that you have to try and find it under to be profitable. And as you can tell, we are buying it for $2. Now, a lot of people are going to ask, what about taxes? Now I have my reseller certificate, so then I can be tax exempt in Walmart purchases. So if you don't have that, you would want to get it if you were to you know, start selling on Amazon. It's not required. It is required for wholesale, but if you're just doing arbitrage, it is beneficial to get it so then you don't have to pay taxes on a product. So if I can you know, um, get it for $2, sell it for $11, the profit is $149 and the ROI is 74%. It also actually sells, yeah, it sells 100 plus a month. So this product would be a good buy and I just found this product right now. So this is a good one. Let's scan this one. This one is actually really good. As we can tell, we have quite a few here. One, two, three, four. So we have four of these right here. And we have a 2K BSR, top 1%. Sells 4,000 times a month by itself. I'm eligible to sell. There's no important alerts. There's a lot of good reviews. Um, it actually has 4.5 stars. So that's not bad for 4,500 reviews. Uh, cost price is 450. We don't have to pay taxes. Sell price is 13.38. So we would make a profit of $3.27 and 72% return on investment. So this is a really good product as well. So we, these can easily be sold within a matter of time. And this one. So this product isn't good. Now we are profitable. $5.50 is our cost price and our max cost is $5.75. But I don't do any products that have no reviews and no estimated sales or BSR. So that's the main data that I go based off of. So I would not want to sell this product. There is a lot of products and we could make a dollar forty-one profit off of each, but I personally would just stay away from this one. So this one is seven dollars. Uh, so the estimated sales is low. There is only seven reviews. BSR is one hundred and three K in the top one percent. Um, but we see here it's selling for $15.49, profit is $2. So you wouldn't want to buy much of this one either, but there is only three products of this right here. So you can add that into your cart as well. Let me see what else. So this is $9 and they're selling for $18.78. That's crazy but the fees are eating into all of it. So it sells 10 times a month, which is not too good. Now the BSR is good, but we aren't even profitable with this product. If we were profitable, it would be great because look how much units there is. There's a lot of them. So you honestly just have to keep sourcing. Um, let me scan, like I personally, yeah, I like scanning products that also have a lot of units. Like I can tell that there's a lot of units. Now, if it's just one random product like this one, I already scanned this one, this one's bad. It's just like you can still scan and you can still buy it, but it's just it's just one unit. At the same time, like you can uh, you can always go to other Walmart stores. Okay. Let's scan this one right here. So there's a lot of these right here. As you can tell, now it sells a little slower, but it's still 90 kbsr top 1%, which is good. Um, 
We would buy it for 11, sell it for 25. Profit is $6.29 with 57% ROI. So this product, you would have to be careful just because it does have lower monthly sales, but it's 4.5 ratings and there's 97 total reviews, which is not bad. So this product is actually good as well. You have to keep in mind that when you are resale arbitrage sourcing, you may not find a good amount of products to your first go. So you have to keep sourcing, go to different stores, and eventually, once you find the three products that I just found, I can go to a different Walmart and I can see if they have it there because I already know it's profitable for me. So all I have to do is actually find the product. And it's easy. So I can just easily take all of these and it all total up to a lot of profit. Now, you just have to keep in mind, it's not gonna be easy doing retail arbitrage, but you have to make sure to put that time in and invest your time wisely, as well as spend and invest your capital, of course. Let's see here. These are a lot. I always see these at Walmart. Like, every time I go to Walmart clearance, I see these heaters, like, okay. So, cost price is 15 you guys can tell why it's not good everything is in the red bsr is a little too high 50 monthly sales selling for 27.99 but everything is eating into the fees i mean the fees are eating into the profit as you can tell so the total fees is 14.85 so we would be losing a dollar 86 each if we were to sell this on Amazon. So you have to be really careful not to sell anything that you are going to be in the negatives in. And a lot of people tell me that. A lot of people will see their seller board and seller board says, you lost negative $3. How did I lose $3? That's because you didn't do your calculations right. Maybe you didn't even include your shipping and it's just all over the place. So you guys have to remember to do that. And that's why I make these videos for you guys so that I can remind y'all. Let's see this one. did not pop up like i said on my previous videos if it doesn't pop up you can go on amazon seller put this thing right here hover over the front of the picture and as we can tell this one looks like it make sure you match up the exact products because you don't want to confuse the customer or get the customer to return your product so after that you're going to copy the ASIN as we can tell it is looking horrible right now and why is the sale price negative 0 0.01 that's because it's out of stock right now so we're gonna go to the key and see ever since this thing was created and as we can tell it's even it's been is $8.99 and it's selling for $12.98, we, we wouldn't even be profitable, so that's a waste of time. Let's see here. So this is $5. This is not good. Max cost is always the first thing that you want to look at. Max cost is $237. We have to find it under $237, so we wouldn't be profitable. We have to make sure we find it under so that we can be profitable, and then we can start looking into all the other data. A lot of people forget to look at the max cost. They look at all the other data and then they see that they're not even profitable. So it's just like a waste of time. Let's see this one. This max cost is 1032, but we're getting it for 17, not profitable. Not profitable. 552 max cost and we're getting it for 1497. Now, with products in this area, I don't even touch just because they are oversized. Now, if you were doing FBM, you can, you know, try and sell this stuff. Mainstays, I usually don't, I usually don't sell. But like Ninja or all, any of these brands, yeah, it's just too oversized for me, so I wouldn't deal with it. So it's really simple to find profit. You just have to invest your time and not give up in the beginning. It's going to be a little complicated, but at the end of the day, when you find products in your cart and you just go to other Walmart locations, all you have to do is just find them, you know? So I think that's it for this video. If you haven't already, make sure to like it up and subscribe for more. Follow my Instagram and my TikTok where I post on those every single day. And if you got to the end of this video, comment the word Walmart down below. So on your
are serious about this business, if you're looking for a mentor for your Amazon FBA business, make sure to apply for the Hustlers Academy in my description. I'm not taking any more students as of right now, but in the future, I will definitely be accepting more people. Make sure you fill out those intake forms and answer all the questions on the form so then you're first in line when I do eventually end up accepting people. If you're more of a fast learner, you don't really need a mentor, then I always have my complete Amazon FBA guide still available for sale in my description as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys real soon next Friday. Peace. Turn me to a killer, I just smashed the